hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is my last video for tonight in this video i'm going to talk to you briefly about hydroethyl cellulose and what it's used for hydroethyl cellulose is a non-ionic uh, non uh, you know modifier it can be used you know it's a, a better option okay from polymers you know because it's very good for making different type of product products it can also use you know mainly we use this to make crystal clear serum okay it is an excellent thickening agent for all personal care products it really enhances the look and feel of your product it gives it the elegant you know look and it's very very crystal clear it's a natural you know polymer that you know there's no drama very easy to use when you know how to prepare it you know you can hand it to your you can add this to your cleanser shampoo because it's going to enhance foam and it will reduce you know irritation okay it will reduce skin irritation you know and it, at the end of the day it will make your product more effective okay very very this one is used to make very good uh, hair gel because it gives it a soft odor so i think personally from experience i think is the best best uh, polymer to use okay natural polymer to use okay natural gum to use the best one to use so far and uh, it's easier than the synthetic form uh, polymer because it will hold well and it will not sup give you any unpleasant surprise so how do you use it you can use it from 0 0.5 percent to two percent and you've mainly had it to the water face okay and even if you're making gel you can even add it also to the finer product okay so how do we how do we hydrate eggs just take a couple take what the amount you want to use. i usually use 0 0.5 percent okay i use 0 0.5 but i take it and measure it okay keep in mind that it's a bit more expensive okay very very it's more expensive than any other gum on the market okay it's a natural polymer it's more expensive so you add your water to it add your water to it then don't forget your hand blender and blend it now one thing i'm going to show you right now is another way i blend my i blend this is using an homogenizer i will bring the homogenizer to the camera now so you see it uh, this is a professional professional version i'm going to tell you this today x has a way of uh, um of resisting blending yeah so you have to make sure you use an homogenizer to blend it if you want to get a smoother smoother so i'm going to make the video now so you see this is my homogenizer here okay so i'm going to use it to do more blending Now, once you have done that, all you have to do is just give it the waiting time. The waiting period is all you need. Now, after doing this, you need to set it aside and give it time to fully hydrate. What I do most of the time is just, just cover it. Okay, give it time to fully hydrate. And after some time, you're going to get a thicker thicker cream so what i'll do now i'm going to leave this allow it to fully hydrate and i'm going to open it in 30 minutes in another 30 minutes and i'll show you exactly how it looks so this is how it will look okay before you add any other ingredient to it this is how it will look it's going to look more like a thick gel it will not look like the um like goa gum that i just did in the previous video it's going to look more like a very thick gel 
so i will show that to you in another video i may not be necessarily talking but i will show at least it's going to take another 30 minutes to 30 45 to one hour before it turns to a thicker gel and if i didn't show in that video just watch it in the next one hour it's going to turn into a thick gel and that's the gel that you add uh, to your skincare product to make a crystal clear whether serum whether serum or gel so wish you the best if you have any question about using hydroethyl cellulose feel free to drop in the comment box just make sure you allow it for one hour at least to let it fully hydrate before you continue formulating your skincare product if you want to learn more the proper way to learn more about making skincare but this is the channel for you click that subscribe button click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new video i am a formulator with over eight years of experience i formulated well over 6500 skincare products and still counting this is what i do and i use this channel to pass my experience to you so if you want to become a great formulator you want to become a pro formulator this channel is for you i teach you how to use each in, uh, skincare ingredient and also on my website i give you you know form, stable formula to make different skincare products and uh, how to make them on a professional scale and how to make them to sell so that's what stands on uh, natural skincare school.com out so if you want to learn more want to take your learning skill to another level feel free to head over to natural skincare school.com do not worry right now i'm still adding more stable formula and you know step-by-step -step instruction even some of our formula there do have um demonstration video that's the voice members only uh, website because it's my effort I'd, i cannot just give it away to the to the public for free that's why i make it very special i make it only members only for determined um formulator to learn and grow with me as their mentor and that's what i do best so if you want to learn more about skincare formulation head over to natural skincare school.com join with confidence and you will see me had new new formula that i don't share on this channel for free uh, there for you um that's about it um with that you can continue to grow if you have any question you feel you have my personal email you can email me i'll give you expert advice on the best way uh, to solve all your formulation issues thank you so much for watching everyone uh, happy formulation everyone so even before you go let's check out our um hydrate it's still thickening it's still thickening give it let's give it another uh, 30 to one hour i'll bring it on camera i will not necessarily be talking just to show you exactly how it will be in the next one hour happy formulating everyone remember click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload the uh, next video thanks for watching so like i said it's now over 30 minutes i have to attend to another important thing this is going to be my last video for tonight if you look closely you're going to see it, it has reduced in size a bit okay it has reduced in size a bit this is the x i told you about okay it's more now like a light gel the more time you give it to rest the more thicker you're going to get it so what you'll do now is to pass it over your to your i will be using my homogenizer to homogenize it a bit okay you pass it over to an homogenizer then you're going to homogenize it a bit and I'm going to show you that we use an homogenizer to create a smoother mixture So, so I have it here with you. This is X, okay, and that's exactly what you be you should watch out for. And this is X when it's full, when it's uh, thirty minutes hydrated. As you can see, it's thicker, okay. So, this is X for you. We can use this to make a crystal clear serum. A crystal clear gel uh, like I said you have to make sure you leave it for 60 minutes 
now it's uh, around uh, i think 20 to 25 minutes it's still not fully hydrated but it's thicker than before as you can see it's thicker okay than before we want to make sure okay we allow it to thicken more okay so that's x for you this is what an uh, homogenizer did to it and this is what you get so leave it for another at least another 30 minutes then we're going to get a smoother um a more thicker texture just add it to your formulation and you're good to go so that's about it for this video if you have any question about making um a, a product with a, a hex hydro ethyl cellulose feel free to drop the comment in the comment box below thank you so much for watching everyone